My name is Hina, and I just wanted to share a little bit of my journey with you. I've always believed in Jesus Christ. He's, I've believed in him my whole life, but, and I've always prayed to him every day, night, every single day. I graduated university four years ago, I, and when I graduated, I had no idea what to do next, just like with many other youth out there that are graduating university. I applied to a lot of programs. I searched online. I went to my school's career office, asked a whole bunch of guidance counselors, and I just kept applying to different programs without really having any idea of what was the best career choice for me. So what happened was, in this time, I was feeling pretty lost. I didn't know where, what program would be best for me. And this is when I felt the presence and peace of Jesus. Um, I would, at the time I was going to church quite often, um, we were finished exams so I had a lot of time. I would always listen to lectures on TV and we have all those programs and every single message was the same message, exactly the same, saying keep your faith in Jesus Christ. And that's when it really hit me, I realized that Jesus was trying to speak to me. So when I, the moment I realized that, I gave my heart and soul to him fully and let him work in my life. And it was at that point I felt this unbelievable peace in my heart and in my mind that I have no words to describe. It's only, only way I can describe it is a heavenly peace. I was always at peace, completely happy. It was supernatural almost. And from that point on, I just kept going and continuing to apply for different programs. But at this, but I did so, it was different this time where I put Jesus Christ at my steering wheel. I applied to different programs and let him take care of everything for me and put him in charge of my future. And it was around this time that um, I was, well, I was applying to different programs and I was also hearing about a lot of masters, PhD students that would graduate without any job opportunities. And I was constantly night and day praying to him to give me something where I can have a good career in and a stable job in, where I didn't want to graduate from that and find out I have nowhere to work. So one day I found out that I got admission into the foot specialist or chiropathy program. And it was by far an easy program. It was the most difficult three years I went through in that program. It was a very tough, very grueling program, but Jesus never let my, left my side, not even once. He was my strength through the entire program. He, every time I felt any kind of, went through any kind of disappointment or felt disappointment and heartbroken, all I had to do was fall on my knees in front of Jesus and he would instantly give me peace in, in my heart. Ultimately, going through those three years, I graduated just this past June. Um, in, and just this past June, I graduated, and it wasn't over yet. I still had to uh, do my licensing exams, my board exams, so I could practice. And it was, I heard a lot of different things from many former students saying how difficult the board exams were. But every time I heard any of these horror stories about the exams, I just prayed to Jesus to give me guidance and strength so that I could succeed. And finally, just last week, I got, just this week actually, I got the news that I passed the board exams and I'm officially licensed properly. And it's, I also have to thank Pastor and Auntie for sure. Every single time I came to them with a disappointment, they would always be praying for me and they always encouraged me to keep going and to stay strong. And all of this is Jesus's work in my life and I just wanted to be a testimony for all the youth out there that felt really lost like I did no matter where they are in their career path all you have to do really is give your heart and soul to Jesus and he will give you a life of miracles and fill your life with blessings and abundance thank you for your time